as COVID-19 continue to spread, governments around the world have new worries. The disruption of the food supply chain and price hikes. This has caused farm workers to be declared essential by many countries. The pandemic and its widespread implications to the food supply chain has caused many governments to one. In Canada, where the planting and harvesting of crops have a finite time, the Canadian government had to pump $50 million into the agricultural sector to help farmers. In 2019, almost 60,000 foreign workers were in Canada. Now, farmers have to quarantine the migrant farm laborers when they arrive, plus still pay them. This is leading to the delay of planting and harvesting of crops. Farmers also have to retrofit equipment to accommodate social distancing. This will result in inefficiencies, hence may lead to higher prices at the supermarkets. 2. The over 2 million farm workers in the United States mainly come from Mexico under the H-2A visa program. The foreign workers are not given personal protective equipment. Therefore, if a worker gets infected with COVID-19, the government can shut down the farm and quarantine every worker, which will cause delays in both planting and harvesting. As a result of this and other problems in the agricultural sector, the Trump administration will inject $19 billion to help. 3. Cargill Beef Processing Plant in High River, Alberta, Canada, where the province chief medical officer of health, Dr. Dina Hinshaw, confirmed on Friday, April 17, 2020, that 358 COVID-19 positive cases were linked to the facility. Cargill is one of two primary beef suppliers to McDonald's Canada. Another meat plant with test positive COVID-19 cases is JBS Food Canada, located in the city of Brooks in Alberta, Canada. These companies have yet to close their doors. 4. The world's largest pork producer, Smithfield Foods in the United States, have closed at least three plants so far due to COVID-19 outbreaks where there are over 200 COVID-19 cases. Tyson Foods in Iowa has over 100 COVID-19 positive infections. Meat giant JBS USA Holdings closed its Pennsylvania slaughterhouse operations temporarily after a union store died of coronavirus infection. Additional meat processing plant closure across the United States will make it very difficult to keep supermarkets fridges stocked. 5. Germany has a website listing thousands of unfilled agricultural jobs. Europe typically rely on seasonal workers from Northern Africa and Eastern Europe, but the fear of COVID-19 is preventing hundreds of thousands of migrant workers from leaving their home. Strawberries and asparagus are already being left to rot in Spain, Italy, and southern France. France expects about 200,000 workers will fail to show up. Italy, as many as 100,000. According to the agriculture minister in Germany, Julia Klopner, only a fraction of the 30,000 migrant workers for the month of March showed up this year. Countries in Europe may soon lack fresh fruits and vegetables. COVID-19 continue to spread globally with over 2.3 million confirmed cases, almost 200,000 dead, and over 609,000 recovered. As always, thanks for watching. Please thumbs up, share, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Again, try to be grateful and think positive.